In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the command setting. I'll give a quick definition of what each of the settings is used for. Let's get into it. So first thing we're going to want to do is go down here and type in slash settings. This will bring up a prompt window. So on the top layer here, we have our different versions of Midjourney and Midji mode. By selecting any one of these, it'll preset our version of Midjourney to that corresponding version. The default as of the making of this video is version 4. The two primary versions that you'll probably be using are going to be version 3 and version 4, and on occasion Midji mode. Midji mode brings more of an anime stylization, so if that's what you're looking for, you're going to want to operate with a Midji mode. Now we're going to go down to the next line. The Midjourney test mode and test photo mode are used primarily in versions 3, 2, and 1 and do not function in versions 4 or Niji mode. Test mode will give a different stylization to the images that are produced. Test photo or dash dash test P will give your image more of a photographic look. Now we'll go over here to quality. I did an in-depth video on quality and upscaling and I'll provide a link down below. Toggling one of these will set your quality to different levels. Now let's go down to stylization. The level of stylization can be toggled on from these four here. The stylization parameter influences how strongly Midjourney applies its own stylization to your image. Midjourney has its own unique look, and lowering and raising the stylization will overlay that style. The higher you have it, the more style it will give, the lower you have it, the less. Stylization low will give you a stylization parameter of 50. Medium will give you 100, high will give you 250, and very high will give you 750. It's good to play around with these and find exactly what you like. Stylization will vary from individual to individual and will be based strongly on your own aesthetic feel. All right, let's go down here to the upscales. I've done another video on upscaling. I'll link that down below as well. The first feature toggled is regular upscale. This is the standard upscale that you'll get when you hit the U option under your image. The next two features are Light Upscale and Beta Upscale. Light Upscale will give you a slight variation and will also help smooth faces. The next is Beta Upscale. It's very similar to Light Upscale, but will give you a little less change in the level of detail. It'll also help to smooth faces a bit as well. They're both good options, but I tend to leave them off. I like to do them after I've generated my first initial image. Now let's go down to the bottom line. The first mode we have here is public mode. If you have a basic account, all of your images can be publicly viewable in your gallery. This is the default setting for all new users, is to have public mode activated. Now let's go over to private mode. In order to use private mode or stealth mode, you'll need a pro or commercial account. Private mode allows you to hide your images from the public. But an important note, if you generate images in any of the public places on the Midjourney server, they'll default to public mode. If you want to generate images in private, you'll need to message the bot and set up a private DM, or you'll need to set up your own server and invite the bot to it. Again, I have a video for that as well. I'll provide the link down below. Next is the Remix feature. By toggling the Remix feature on, when you go to make a variation of your image, you can add in new prompts into that image. You'll get a slight variation of that image, with new elements added from whatever the context of the prompt was. I tend to leave this on. I think it's really helpful from time to time, and there's no point in not having it on. Next, we'll go to fast mode. The default setting is fast mode. Fast mode will use your GPU hours, which you have a limited number of those hours. Now, if you want to change to relax mode, that's going to be the one here, you can go ahead and toggle that on. That won't use your GPU hours, and you're not limited to the number of relax mode hours you can use. Though relax mode is a little bit slower and it will put you in a queue. So if you're not in a hurry and you have a little patience, relax is a great tool to utilize. Also, I made a video on how to get free fast hours. So if you find you're running low on fast hours, go ahead and give that a watch and you can receive up to one free fast hour a day. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining, please consider dropping a like or a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I have more tutorial videos from Midjourney down below. Please check them out. Thanks.